Jeppe Kofold, MEP. You're one of the co-rapporteurs on the tax evasion report. Can you tell us today, the day when Antoine Deltour's trial start, how do you feel about his situation? Well, I, I feel it's a scandal, really, that a country uh, trial a person who actually revealed information which is clearly uh, looking as illegal practices by this country. And the commission has started an investigation uh, in Luxembourg. Uh, so I think, you know, whistleblowers, they need much better protection and they need to uh, be protected from these kind of, of, of trials that we see now. Europe has made a number of proposals uh, in, in recent months. Are you happy with the extent of these proposals as they currently stand? It's a big step forward and it's fair to say that the Commission, uh, also with the pressure of the European Parliament and the Taxi Committee, the Commission now has come forward with the most uh, well, uh, far-going uh, approach and, and also proposals in the world, I would say, on, on tax avoidance uh, and tax evasion. Uh, but we need to do more, for example, when it comes to multinational corporations, that we need to see you know, that where they have their profits and their earnings, it's also where they pay their income tax. And therefore, public country by country reporting, not only in Europe, but uh, in all the countries they're operating, is essential. We've heard about the, the Commission's tax haven blacklist. Um, at the moment, this excludes countries that are in the EU and it excludes the US, which is one of the fastest growing areas. The Commission says that they will consider all jurisdictions. Are you confident that will happen? And can it happen without a global deal? Well, we should, uh, we should push and Europe should be in the lead. And the things we do at home, we need to get our own house in order with legislation that ensures effective taxation and transparency in Europe, but we also need to fight globally for tax justice. And, and what we want to see as a social democrats is a global summit on tax evasion and aggressive tax planning, because it's a global phenomenon that is affecting all of us. And there, the U.S. is a very important partner. Uh, I mean, uh, U.S. have done some things in their legislation. We do, are doing something in, the, in Europe. We need to come together on a very strong approach and we need to list a blacklist tax havens that are not cooperating, that are not willing to reveal information about beneficial ownership, and not willing to, to give information automatically to our countries and authorities. So we need to be much more brutal in our efforts. And the Commission's proposals focus on shell companies. What about other tax avoidance um, vehicles like trusts? Would you like to see action in the area of trusts? Yeah, all entities, whether it's a company, shell company, or trust, uh, it's important, uh, or foundations for that matter, all of these entities, we need to, to see transparency and real beneficial ownership. Um, and there we have loopholes that has to be closed. So we will uh, work with the Commission, hopefully, uh, to uh, close all these loopholes also regarding trusts. You mentioned in your presentation a moment ago about needing more action on the enablers. Mm. We're focused on the, the companies that hold the shelves, but what about the, the banks, the lawyers, uh, the accountancy firms, and what sort of sanctions do you envisage? Well, I think it's important that we have much more consequence and harder sanctions on, on the enablers, as you said, meaning the whole industry behind this uh, offshore tax evasion and aggressive tax planning. Uh, we saw it in Panama Papers, it was one country, Panama, one law firm, Mossack Fonseca, maybe it's only the tip of the iceberg, I think so, and therefore we need to, to have uh, consequences for banks, accountant firms, lawyers, tax advisors of all kinds, it's a huge global industry, if they engage in repeatedly and systematically helping with tax evasion and uh, aggressive tax planning, then I think it, we should be possible to revoke their business license, I mean take away their business so they will face some severe consequences if they are engaged in that, that type of activity. Today's meeting was about the impact on tax, uh, the tax evasion has on developing countries. This is an issue that's close to your heart. Why do you think that action is particularly needed in relation to these countries? Well, uh, first of all, uh, the effect on developing countries are actually much higher 
than on developed countries. I mean, the cost to their societies are tremendous, much more than in Europe. Uh, so in many of these countries, they're fighting just to you know, you know, feed their population or to ensure that, that girls can, can go to school. Uh, and at the same time, we are seeing that big multinational corporations are you know, removing the revenue, the taxes that should have been paid in developing countries to build a, a society that can provide schools, can provide health care uh, to the poor people. So therefore, I think it's close to my heart because this is about life and death for many people in developing countries, and it's about justice. I mean that when multinational corporations, for example, in the extractive industries, they uh, are exploring you know, developing countries, then they should also, of course, pay income tax of the huge income they have in these countries. One final question. We have a Danish commissioner, Commissioner Vestager. She's taken quite a tough, tough stance on a number of issues. She's, been, she's also been quite outspoken in, in support of whistleblowers. And she's been asked to attend and maybe bear witness at the trial of uh, Antoine Del Tour. Would you encourage her to participate in this event and offer support to whistleblowers? Well, it's up to her, but I, I think it's really important to say when the Commission also find here, in this case with Luxembourg, there is ground for investigation. I think it should be impossible to trial a whistleblower that reveal information that uh, you know showing that something illegal might be going on. So I, I hope the Commission will give full support to the whistleblowers that are you know revealing these uh, illegal practices as we are seen in some member states.